ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. So you see these glasses on my face. These are some Le Curie Paris glasses, and these are called the Paul, in reference to Paul Newman, who is one of the legendary Porsche guys. And I have to thank Stephen Mills Designs, as well as Le Curie Paris themselves, for sending me these glasses because they actually fit my face really well. Now you may be wondering, wait a minute, but those are aviators. Alex, you don't own a plane. What are you doing with aviator glasses on? So what am I going to do? I'm going to go out and drive the Porsche. Ladies and gentlemen, so the car's warmed up. It is outside the garage. It is looking lovely right now. And the weather is absolutely perfect. So I'm gonna take this car out for a spin. Yes, I just got this car semi-detailed. That's why it looks a little bit shinier than normal around certain areas because I did have it sitting outside for a few days where there was a little bit of water spotting. So I just wanted to make sure that the entire exterior of this car was given the proper treatment. So I just did a light compound, light wax, light polish, you know, the usual things that you do to a car in order to keep it nice and shiny. So the roof is absolutely gleaming. There's a few, you know, there's a few things that I could have done better, such as the, you know, you can see off the reflection of the sun, there is a little bit of streaking and some swirl marks but that's not a big deal once you stand about five feet away from it you don't even notice it but more importantly this thing is a driver and in terms of a driver that means i'm actually driving the car i'm doing everything that i need to do in order to get it on the road and operate it as it was originally intended back in 1988 so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to go for a spin in this car and i'm going to hit the highway so i'll see you there Always have to exercise the vehicle unfortunately in New York City you encounter traffic so even like the best roads like the Cross Island Parkway which is not too far away from my house tend to be a little bit congested especially at this hour and yes the clock does work so I decided that I was gonna take the car to the park just so I could see the car against the green backdrop of the lake here in New York City at Crossroom Park so I decided you know what let me just stop here and take a few cool pictures let me get some cool footage of the car because you know this is only one of the few seasons that I actually get to look at the car and you know juxtapose it against uh, a nice green background but yeah I mean I decided it looks nice enough outside that you know we don't get all the best driving seasons in New York so let me just take the car out and put it against really nice backdrops you know all for the gram or YouTube or whatever platform that I'm going to put this on. that people are like 
like, oh yeah, it's a race car, I have to drive a race car, it has racing history. And then you look under the engine, and to the right of the engine compartment, there is no AC compressor. And it's fun to drive on a track, but let's be real, how often are you driving this car on a track? How often are you taking it out to Lime Rock or to the race park or anywhere that you're going to use the car for its maximum potential? The reality is, having an AC system, yes, it does rob a little bit of power from the car, but having it does not hurt because it is one of the best features because I'm not sweating bolts right now and it's actually an amazing thing. And I really enjoy having an AC compressor that works in the car. So with that said, I want to thank you for watching. And I definitely am enjoying this ride. So I'll talk to you guys in the next one.